Dr. King's daughter, Bernice, had a huge role in the service. She delivered another message tonight. The worlds of King Day and the Super Bowl collided as civil rights leaders had a, a down to earth conversation about race and the NFL. The Tish is at the bridge with a lot more from our reporters. Yeah, Ron, you have Dr. Bernice King, a former Falcons player, Chris Draft, as well as the president of the Super Bowl host committee, all coming together to discuss a, a controversy surrounding the big game that's coming up. Hope Ford, you were in the room. What'd you hear? Well, you know, Dr. Bernice King, as you just said, you know, you had Chris Draft and you had all of them. So they kicked off the panel by first acknowledging the NFL and mm -hmm. the whole controversy surrounding uh, Colin Kaepernick's actions and admitted that those have created some uncomfortable discussions mm. for the NFL and their fans. So those those uh, uncomfortable discussions, of course, include social injust injustice that includes police brutality in the minority communities and mass incarceration. You know, King also uh, addressed the people who want to boycott the Super Bowl, saying that won't necessarily uh, bring the change people want. There's, there's a group saying, you know, kind of boycott the game, don't look at the games, and I'm saying, okay, but what are we doing? by doing that. I mean, if you're not making clear what is the purpose and what is going to be the direct impact, if the players are not holistically boycotting, how effective can we be at boycotting? You know, there was a lot of disapproving chatter when it came to the act for the halftime show oh, early yeah. on when that was announced. So did that come up today? Oh, yeah, of course it did. You know, it did. <laughs> you know, they had that, <laughs> you know, the whole, of course, the whole controversy surrounding a uh, non-Atlanta artist playing for the Super Bowl. And mm -hmm. when the artists were announced, they had that uh, petition that was online where people were uh, encouraging the acts to kneel during their performance right. to support Kaepernick and players who want to protest. So one panelist uh, said, you know, who is playing and what they do is not important if we don't remember the issues at hand. I just want to make sure that the conversation we're having at the center of it is the conversation that Kaepernick and so many other of us on the streets had always intended on starting in the first place. And that is a conversation about justice, liberation, and freedom every single day. And one of the interesting things that uh, one of the panelists, actually the, the president and CEO of the Super Bowl Host Live Committee, mm -hmm. uh, said was that next year, whenever the Super Bowl is held in Miami, this conversation may not happen. But because this is Atlanta, because we have such a history rooted in uh, civil, civil rights, rights. Mm -hmm. you know, because it's the game is here and this year, this is really the prime time to talk about social injustice, the NFL, and to use that platform to try to get social equality. It's a good time to have the conversation. Always right. a good time to have the yeah, conversation. Yeah, of course. Thanks, Hope. Ron, J-Bell.